Anywhere that's home to wild trout is a special place. For me, Loch Mask is extra special, as it's where I learned to fish and it always feels like going home. Right around this spot here, when I was about three and a half years of age, I caught my very first brown trout. Um, my dad had just brought me out to introduce me to fishing and uh, we were doing a little bit of trolling and we'd caught a small perch with, which caused great excitement for me. And then no sooner had the lines gone back in the water and my rod doubled over. It was a, a big brownie, about five and a half pounds. So uh, needless to say, I wasn't really able to land it. So my dad took the rod over and, and landed the fish. But that's when my passion for fishing started. Nearly in exactly this spot. For fly fishing on big lakes like Loch Mask, the ideal conditions really are dull or overcast, mild, warmer mild, and a decent wave like you can see here on the lake. Direct sunlight really isn't helpful, so although you might think it's lovely to go out fishing on a nice sunny summer's day, you won't have the most productive days fishing. The direct sunlight in the water makes everything more visible for the fish, so your line and your tackle, the silhouette of the boat, and they tend to go a little bit deeper away from the direct sunlight and feed lower down in the water column on days like that. If you've fished Ireland's great limestone lakes, you'll know that conditions are everything. And as the small wave died, so did my chances of a fish. And even my lucky spot wasn't giving one up. So my attention turned to breakfast. The great thing about Ireland is that down every valley and over every hill is another river or lake that invariably hold wild fish. So I set off in search of trout to a secluded little place that rarely lets me down. Well, we're here in, in Loch Durkbjog, County Mayo, which is at the head of the Ownbryn River. So the water flows out of this lake into the Ownbryn River, which in turn feeds Loch Mask. And oftentimes late in the season, when conditions are a little bit bright and calm on Loch Mask, there can be great sport to be had here in, in, in the Dirks. The fish are not huge, but they're free rising and pound for pound as hard fighting as any fish you'll catch anywhere else. This lake was gouged out by melting ice at the end of the last ice age. The brown trout that inhabit this lake were one of the first settlers to come to Ireland because of their ability to change between salt and fresh water so they could cross the seas and and start to make new homes on our island after the ice melted. So this population of fish in this lake is likely thousands of years old and about as wild a fish as you'll find anywhere on the planet. Things were a little bright and calm on Loch Mass today so we thought we'd come up here and have a little have a little play and see what's to be found. I've had a few little takes and caught a few smaller fish and hopefully any minute now I can entice one of the slightly larger ones. One of the big difficulties up here is that the nature of the, the mountains here is a bit like a bowl and the wind tends to swirl around so uh, it can be quite hard to, to stay fishing with the wind behind you. The average size of the fish in this lake is probably around half a pound or a bit less. But there are fish in here up to two pounds and they will take a fly so it's worth persevering. So I've been fishing with a, a, a green peter, a red ass peter on the top dropper, claret bumble on the middle dropper, and a Watson's fancy on the points. And I'm just going to ditch the, the claret bumble in the middle and I'm going to put on a small bibio. Dark flies seem to work best up here in this dark peaty water. There's that wind I was talking about. Just when you think you're fishing with the wind behind you, it does a 360 and comes right in your face. I think that fella's taken the bibio that I just put on. Yep. So uh, bibio is a really good fly in, in, in dark, bog, boggy water that has a bit of colour. So a beautiful wild brownie and Let's hope in a minute we're going to catch his big cousin. 
Put him back to grow big. There he goes. Okay, so, seeing as my bibio was so successful, I'm gonna add another dark fly to my trace. I'm gonna replace my green peter on the top drop, dropper with a, a black panel. That wind has just turned into my face a little bit. It makes it a bit hard to get the, get the line out. So we have to do our best. Oh, just missed another one. So definitely changing to those darker flies has made a big difference. The light's starting to fade here. And I'd say our opportunities for catching that big fish are narrowing in, but it's that little wonder deep down is, that, is the next cast going to be that monster you're waiting for? And that last cast, always that last cast, just one more cast. Is that going to be the fish? Definitely a better fish now. I'm gonna try and get a little bit of line on the reel while I play this fella. Not ready yet. That's what we've been waiting for. Not a gargantuan fish, a fish of about a pound, but by the standards of this lake, it's nearing specimen size. He's taken a red ash green peter on the top dropper. I'm gonna get him back before, uh, before he gets worn out. So really important to make sure the fish is fully revived before we release him. Just moving him back and forward in the water, trying to get the water to move through his gills, let him catch his breath. And you'll know when he's ready because he'll give you a good kick of his tail. <laughs> 